Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. So people have been asking me what exactly is hydrogen water? Like they don't really understand or maybe even just hydrogen gas inhalation. So let me see if I can explain it to you guys. And other people also ask, is it a scam? Is it something that's real? And let me just go ahead and get started. So we're looking at molecular hydrogen right here. These little blue ones are electrons. Uh, you're looking here at the proton, and it's a specific type of gas, guys. Ultimately, that's what we're looking at. We're looking at a specific type of gas. So even just to give you like an example, I mean, oxygen is a gas, and molecular hydrogen is another specific type of gas. Obviously, the, these two specific ones make water. And does it ultimately have a therapeutic effect? Well, guys, I'm not giving you any medical advice on this video, but if you do the research and you look at the science, I mean, I'll just, this is just one diagram of a pig where there was some brain injury, um, you know, neurological issues, even renal function. And what you can see is that they did hydrogen gas inhalation. So that's what they were doing, just the gas only. And it seemed to have a positive effect. And so people would also ask, well, is there any science to support this? Well, definitely. There's a lot of science. I mean, I can show you right here. For example, this is from sciencedirect.com. And it says right here, let's see here, molecular hydrogen as a preventative and therapeutic medical gas, initiation, development, and potential of hydrogen medicine. Um, there's, these are, this is just from 07, the amount of studies done on cancer, tissue dysfunction, the sensory system and skin, the digestive system, respiratory system, the central nervous system. I mean, there's so many different, and there's so much more now than there was, oh, back then. I'll see here, you can see the whole thing right here. You can see the cancer right there. And so there's definitely been a lot of science. I mean, you can definitely look into a place like Molecular Hydrogen Institute uh, or Foundation where they have a a lot of the science and the scientific articles. I will say, obviously it is a gas, but I, I personally have also noticed that there is a specific way to implement it. You need to know specific levels. Um, one thing I've noticed is the safety. You really wanna make sure to make it cleanly or really consume very clean hydrogen. So the, the cleanliness and the levels are important. And then even the nanotechnology in regards to it. So just to show you a little diagram here, a little example. Um, right here you can see like what a big bubble would look like and maybe even smaller bubbles so you can imagine the the nano bubbles because just to give you an example nano bubbles are like the smallest size that you can really get to about 500 times smaller than a micro bubble and it's about the size of a virus so at this scale the more the the more the smaller that the bubbles are, the more you can fit, you know, in a certain volume of water, for example. So like even the device that I'm using, they really focused on that. There's different types of technologies out there. The one that I got was focused more on the safety of it, the cleanliness, because, you know, the way you you, you create hydrogen, guys, you can uh, potentially get like metals leaching into the water. Um, sometimes there's certain chemicals that are used. If you use a chemical reaction, um, obviously there's gonna be a residue, things of that nature. And I can even show you here, I don't even know if you can actually see it, but see, you can obviously see the bubbles that are being produced from my hydrogen generator, but look at the side right here. See those tiny little things? They're really hard to see a lot of times, but you can see these tiny little things. And so, yeah, uh, as far as the science is concerned, I think there's more that's gonna come out. It appears that obviously the smaller the bubbles, the better. Now, interestingly enough, here's another example that might actually help you guys um, understand, is let's use water. Uh, as an example, because we are talking about hydrogen water and the gas inhalation. If you've ever seen soda pop, well, you know, they're just, they have CO2 in the water. You can, these bubbles you can actually see, or even sparkling water. So it's kind of the same premise. You're just dissolving a gas into the water. And that's pretty much it. Interestingly enough though, is how this affects the body and how it affects it differently if it's either in water, dissolved in water, or if you just inhale the gas you know, like they do with the pig, you know, just inhaling the gas. And they seem to have different effects. Again, I'm not giving you any medical advice, but I've seen what it can do. And obviously there's a lot of uh, scientific data to really show that there is a therapeutic effect. But I mean, I've seen things, just to give you a few examples that I personally have seen. I've seen people with Crohn's disease. I've seen people with arthritis, glaucoma, uh, diabetes, both type one and type two. Uh, what else can I think of here? Oh, high blood pressure, uh, high cholesterol, people with issues with their lungs. I mean, it just goes on and on. People with chronic fatigue syndrome uh, it, and even uh, dementia and Alzheimer's, you know, how it affects the brain in such a positive way. It appears to be the only antioxidant that can even reach the brain. 
And I know that there's more studies. In fact, there's a medical clinic in Japan that I know of that's currently doing research. In fact, using the exact same device that I just showed you, the one that I use uh, for people with dementia and Alzheimer's and whatnot. And so it really does appear not to be a scam, but there are ways to implement it that could potentially just basically not work. So if you want to call it a scam, well, maybe. Um, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't work. It just means that you have to do it a certain way. Because I have seen, for example, like there's a lot of companies that sell enzymes. And not all enzymes are created equal. I mean, there's enzymes out there that are very therapeutic and there's other ones that are just not really of high quality. So I wouldn't say that it's a scam, but I would say that you'd have to make sure to implement it properly in order for it to work, you know, to its maximum level. So hopefully that answers everybody's questions about what, you know, hydrogen ultimately is or hydrogen water or the hydrogen gas for example, for inhalation, those two things. And that's it, guys. So don't forget to share if you think people out there will find this interesting. Uh, definitely don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. You know, thank you for supporting the channel. I appreciate that so I can make more videos for you guys. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you get the notifications because I got a lot of videos coming your way. In fact, I got some big changes coming up that I'm going to be sharing with you guys within the one or two or three months or so real soon. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on the next one.